was, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to, there was something I forgot to uh, put up, but I'll, I'll power through, I can, I can fix it. Real fast, we talked about this on the channel before, DCEU uh, that's being ran by James Gunn, he's, there, there's a short list for recasting Supergirl. I mean, this is no major news, this is something that we kind of, people kind of already knew about. The, the short list was down to three actresses, and now it seems like it's, it's gone down to two now. I remember speaking about this, I think it was with, with Tyler Cossey, but I don't know if I've ever had this conversation with you about the short list of Supergirl. I know he's probably, maybe this is not in your wheelhouse of what you're excited about, but the short list has, has been whittled down to uh, Millie, uh, Millie, is it Alcock from um, House of Dragon? Yeah. And Meg Donnelly. Their screen test in Atlanta, uh, and this that exclusive came in from the Hollywood Reporter. What are your thoughts on these two young ladies possibly taking over as Supergirl? I mean, if I'm being completely frank, I, I don't have too big of thoughts on it. I think that they could both do it very well. Um, I don't foresee. I mean, I honestly think it would be kind of interesting to see both perspectives because you know that they're kind of going to bring their own thing to it. Mm. Um, I think Millie would be very interesting just in that sort of, you know, look of things. But yeah, I, I really to me, it. it that's one of those things that it, it, at that point it's going to be based off of acting I, and they both can do it. So, and, and being biased, I mean, I guess I'm only going to base it on, I'm going to lean, I'm leaning towards, I was for the longest time leaning towards Millie, but I think I'm being biased because I loved what she did in house of Dragons Correct. so much, but yeah. every time like for the past week or so, every time I saw an AI generated uh, picture of, of, um, of Meg, Donnelly as Supergirl, I more and more I'm like, ooh, no. I mean, like not going just based on looks. I'm, I'm actually, I would actually like the best, the best person who fits the the way the, the character was written. Looks wise, and the appearance of of Supergirl, they both are kind of they both they can they can both be wonderful in that. So yeah, that really, that's why I'm like, that doesn't really play a factor in it to me at this point. It's going to be acting, and only because like you've said, we kind of have a bias towards yeah. Millie. Right. That's why I'm leaning towards Millie. That's the only reason I could make that decision. And the, but here's the other thing that that I also uh, remember about about Meg. She is currently Supergirl right now in the on the cartoon side of it on the on all yeah. the DC movies uh, film uh, car, uh, animated. So she's technically the voice of Supergirl uh, mm -hmm. right now. And the fact that she is obviously that good of an act because she has uh, she has uh some some, uh, some credits i mean she's currently in i believe these disney shows like the, was it the zombie comedy uh series i believe and some other things she's so it's not like she hasn't done anything she has she doesn't she doesn't have she has more than just voice acting cred but i believe that's also what james gunn was probably looking at not only is she she fits the role that I, the, the way the character has been written and and she's crushing it in these auditions, obviously. That's probably why she keeps getting these callbacks. But being the, the fact that she's the voice, technically, of the character, too, could probably... She technically has more experience with the character. So I'm sure that's probably why she's, she's probably crushing it. So I'm, I'm okay with either choice. I think they both yeah. would be great. I would be happy to see um, uh, Millie continue on with something else. But at the same time, if they, if they pick uh, Meg, hey, it, it would make sense. She's the voice, and it, it would kind of... It would uh, keep it in the family, you know, kind of a thing, you know. So I don't know. That's just my two cents. I don't know. I think we're both agreeing on that. We, yeah, that's it, whatever, whichever. I think it would be great. They both look good. Um, I mean, as far as talent wise, bro. Not, not. I mean, but yeah, yeah they're physically appealing too. Is, is Joy still here? No. Okay. No. All right, guys. Let us know who you what you guys think about that. You're always you're always catching me getting in trouble, like Chris. <laughs> let us know what you guys think. All right, let's move on. Remember to like this video, become a subscriber, and share. This really does help us out. If you would like to watch more from us from T3 Media Studio, click here or here. Thanks for watching. Ah, stop being NC17.